Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a walking stick out of PVC pipe. Now for me it'd be a shame if I couldn't also shoot things with this walking stick. So it's also going to be a blow dart gun or a blow gun. What you're going to need to start is a Schedule 40 half an inch PVC pipe. This is going to become the main body of our walking stick and the barrel of our blow gun. Uh, you, I use half an inch schedule 40 because that gives you an internal diameter or a, a bore size of, I believe, 622 caliber. Now compare that to cold steel's 625 caliber and you could easily modify cold steel darts to using this or make your own. So since it's a simple walking stick, the way I measure this is I just cut it to about where if I hold the top here it's just it's comfortable for me if I need to put weight on it or use it for leverage so I like my elbow to be about a 90 degree angle on here. So the first thing that I've done here is I've gone ahead and I've sanded this whole thing smooth just because I'm going to apply a stain onto this. So you could paint this or however you like. You could leave it as is. Another thing you're going to need are three pieces of uh, no, no. three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. We're going to be using a five inch section for a handle and mouthpiece, a four inch section for a mid grip. No, no. This is also going to stabilize this because one of the things about half an inch schedule 40 PVC pipe is at this length which for me is four feet long it tends to have a little bit of sag and that's going to affect accuracy what this four inch piece is going to do is not only give us a handle in the middle of the uh, a second handle to hold but it's also going to help stiffen the center section and keep it from bending and finally, I've got a two inch piece, and this is going to go on the body, uh, on the bottom, and it's going to stick out about three quarters of an inch or so. And this is going to give us a more stable base, so we can actually use this as a walking stick. And it's also going to, this section is going to be larger than this section, so that even if it's all filled with dirt and it gets kicked out, it'd still be fairly easy to load this and use it. So I've gone ahead and I've sanded all of these. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the middle handle and the base on and then we'll go from there. The first thing we're going to do is take this handle piece, this middle handle piece, and place it onto our pipe. What we're going to have to do to get this on is heat it up completely. What's going to happen is when we heat this up all the way, this pipe will actually expand a little bit, allowing us to easily slide it all the way down to the middle of our pipe. But just so when everything's happening, I know where it goes. You can see I've got two little marks. This mark is center, and this is an inch and a half away from the center mark. So that when I go from this end and I place the handle on, I slide the handle on, I can stop right about here. And that will allow me to get this grip located right around center. What I have here is it's just a simple little heating thing that I use. I use this on you know bow limbs and just whatever that needs to be heated up quickly. This is basically just a cardboard mailing tube and aluminum foil. You could use just aluminum foil or aluminum flashing, flashing anything that'll reflect heat. So, let's get started.
Okay, so now that it's soft, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it and quickly slide it down to the middle of the PVC plate. And here it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sight down this straighten it and cool this off. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Here's the pipe so far. And here we have the handle. So it's set on there pretty good. I'm not, I don't glue it because once the pipe here actually, if you cool it fast enough, it will stay there by friction alone because the pipe will actually shrink down just a little bit kind of like heat shrink to them now the reason why I cool this off quickly though is because if you don't cool it off quickly what will happen is that this will contract and it will heat this pipe enough to cause it to contract too and when you try to put darts through this thing they may get stuck mid-barrel just because the barrel is actually smaller here. So you want to cool this off really quickly. I went and I used my garden hose. You can put it under running water or use a wet rag. It was all work. And what I did was while I was while it was still warm in there, I just went and straightened the pipe out as best I could. That way right in here it would set and keep it straight. And now because of this, there's less flex in the middle, so there's going to be less sag in the barrel. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to place the end piece on, and then we're going to work on the mouthpiece and the handle. Now we're going to be putting this onto the end of our pipe. Now I've already gone ahead and put a little bit of, a bit of hot melt glue. The reason why I use hot melt all the time is because it's easy to work with, it's waterproof, and generally most of these uh, connections that I do don't actually need the glue. They'll hold their own with friction, and it's just a, you know, a little bit of assurance. And we're going to be taking this, heating it the same way we did for this middle handle, and placing it down about an inch to three quarters of an inch, or with an inch or three quarters of an inch of empty space. That's going to allow us to have a larger base here, but also if anything gets jammed in here or stuck inside of here, it's less likely to interfere with the actual barrel. It would be easier to clear it out. The first thing we're going to be doing is preparing the end of the barrel. What I like to do is take a knife or sandpaper what you want to do is just gently carve out the bottom here. You want to make sort of a little funnel. What that's going to do is it's just going to uh, again help things help keep things from getting stuck at the end but also if the end does get deformed somehow it's less likely to get small enough to uh, keep darts from coming out and it's not going to restrict the barrel. So there we go, you see there's a little bit of a bevel in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the handle piece and place it on here and I'll show you what that looks like. Here you can see the end here you can see that the pipe actually, once I cooled it off, shrank a little bit where there was no internal pipe. This is going to help brace this so that when you're using this as a walking stick, you know, it'll actually stop the inside pipe from sliding out, even without glue. So, here it is so far. So now we're going to work on the mouthpiece and the handle.